Good morning, everyone. And I'm so excited for what God has in store for us today. And I want to start off reading out of Psalm 119, verse number 105. And it simply says this, Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. The great news about God's word is that he can help us see things that we might not be able to see on our own. He helps lead us to places where we need to go. He helps us find the right path. When we're surrounded perhaps by darkness or doubt or clouds or fog or whatever it is, God is our light. And when we get into his word, his light gives us purpose and direction and meaning and understanding and specifically direction. So as we're studying God's word today, I just want to encourage you that God's got something he wants to speak specifically to you, and it's going to help guide your path. It's going to give you direction, and God's going to speak to you today about decisions that you're making or need to make, and he's going to just help you go down the right way. So let's pray together, and then we'll get more into things. So Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you that your word is alive, your word is active, your word is our guide, your word is our light, and you have a direction for us to go. And even though we're surrounded by darkness and difficulty, even though there's so much upheaval in our world, even though there's so much uncertainty all around us, you can continue by your word to guide us and to lead us. So thank you for that. And as we study your word this morning, I just ask that you would just speak directly to each and every person today, the direction that you have for them and the places that you want them to go, the steps that you have for them to take. Lord, if people are today feeling like they can't hardly see much further in front of them, it feels like they're just walking around in darkness, I pray that you would just shine your light of your word right into their situation and circumstance and help them see so they can take their next step and not do it in fear, but see that there is a path, see that there is direction, see that there is solid ground that they can stand on, and it's through your word and by following your spirit. So bless each one, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, a few things before we get into the Word. Um, first of all, if you have our Fox Valley Christian Fellowship app on your phone, um, go ahead and open that. If you don't have that app, just simply search FVCF or Fox Valley Christian Fellowship in your app store, and you can get that because there's so many different things on there. But if you've got that app and you've got it open, please fill out one of our electronic connection cards. It's really simple. You just can put your name in there. Um, there there's very few things that you have to put in there. If you've got a different address, or a new phone number, um, you can add that in there for us too. But just do that for us so that we can keep up with you and see that we're making sure we're connected with you. Also in our app, you can continue to worship the Lord through your giving. You can do that electronically in our app. You can do that on our website. You can text to give. You can send us a physical um, uh, uh, gift for the Lord or worship as you're giving that way. Um, so there's lots of stuff in there. Uh, you can submit prayer requests. Our sermon notes for today, we've got Roy McCain is going to be sharing with us this morning, and he's got a great message on his heart that he's going to share with our church. So his notes are in the app. You can just hit the sermon notes. All of our previous messages are in there. Um, our electronic bulletin is in there. Um, if you're not getting that via email, you can always get it right in our app, or you can also get it in our email if you just contact us at mail at fvcf.org. Um, I also want to let you know if you'd like to join us for an in-person worship service, we're meeting right now um, on Sundays at 8.30 and 10 o'clock for one-hour services. We're doing the early service for those that are 60 or better, and we're doing uh, the later service for anyone who would like to come. Um, and and if, you don't, if you're not comfortable in joining with us, that's okay too. We've got a lot of things in place to make sure we maintain our social distancing. But we want to encourage you wherever you're at, if you're watching this video, if you're going to join us in person, we just want you to get the most that God has for you in your life. There's one event that's coming up specifically. We're going to start um, our first primetime fellowship of the new era. And so for those who are part of our primetime fellowship, um, on June 30th is going to be the first time that we're going to be able to meet together for our prime timers. And again, we're going to practice social distancing. Vicki Schrader has been in touch with um, the county health department, and we're making sure we're following all the guidelines to serving a meal and all those different things. So 
we're going to keep it safe and good, and it's going to be a great time. So if you would like to join us, we want to encourage you to do that on June 30th. If you're still comfortable staying at home and maybe not participating, hey, that's okay too. We just want to provide opportunity for people to get connected as they would like to. Well, let's continue with all that God has in store for us because they know he's got something great.